welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a highly requested crochet tutorial for you. It is the boot cuff. Here is the one that I made and I threw it out there to my Facebook page, Instagram, Google Plus page and I gave three different options and then you guys voted on which one you wanted to see in this tutorial and this was the landslide winner. Um, we had this um, adjustable gray one which got a lot of votes too. And then this pink one, which didn't get very many votes at all, which was okay because it was my least favorite too. Um, so we'll just get rid of that. And we're going to do this one today, super beginner friendly. You totally can do this if you're just learning how to crochet. Very straightforward. I'm going to show you all the steps and stay tuned to the end of the video for my tip of the day. Okay, let's get started. This is the Charisma Yarn by Loops and Threads. Loops and Threads is the Michaels brand of yarn. And this is the color Taupe. And it's a bulky yarn and it's a US size L hook. So here's the sample that I made and then here's the hook size. It's an L or an eight millimeter. Now you're going to slip knot and begin your foundation chain. You're going to chain a total of 28. At least start with that. Then when you try it on your calf, which I will show you, uh, you can add some or take some away depending on what size will work best for you. Also keep in mind that if your boots fit you tighter, you might want to purchase a slightly thinner yarn so that your boot cuff will fit inside your boot. So here I am trying it on my calf. I made it nice and snug, but I wanted the two ends to be able to meet around my calf. So here is the foundation chain, make sure it's nice and straight that the front is facing upwards and then you're going to insert your foundation chain in that first you're going to insert your hook in that first foundation chain and then you are going to slip stitch it together just like so now make sure nothing is twisted before you continue and then what you're going to do is single crochet along so because this is the foundation chain I'm just going to put it in that top piece of yarn so it's going to be just going through one uh, kind of like thread there and don't forget single crochet is insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through the two loops that are on the hook see how I'm doing it and this is all going to be for that first row and then the second row I'll show you what I do but it's going to look a little bit different so go ahead and finish that first row going around on the foundation chain this is how it's looking Go all the way around and then when you get kind of back to the front this is how it should look don't forget to single crochet to finish out the round insert yarn over pull through yarn over and the two loops on the hook for the single crochet stitch it's a great beginner project a really great beginner stitch uh, if you're just learning how to crochet you will probably know how to do this stitch so finish up that round here's the last one and then you're, what you're gonna do is continue on. Now right here, I'm gonna put it through, see those top two pieces of yarn. So it looks a little bit different. Um, because it's the foundation chain, I just put it through the one, and then now I'm gonna be putting it through those two threads, if that makes sense. I think you can see what I mean. What you're gonna do is single crochet, pretty much just single crochet all the way till you reach your desired um, height of the boot cuff. Mine was four and a half inches tall. And it won't take you very long, especially if you're using this type of uh, yarn and hook. Here's how it should look. One more time just to kind of give you an idea of how everything is looking. And you're going to single crochet through the entire thing. Now here it is complete. Here's my ruler. I'm going to show you how long it is. It's about four and a half inches. And it's about six to six and a half inches wide. Now, if you use a different type of yarn, just make sure it kind of resembles those measurements roughly and make sure that it fits you. And then I'm going to finish up the top here, just finishing up these single crochet stitches up to align with that first starting point. Then I'm going to finish it off. So what I'm gonna do is slip stitch, just to try to gradually decrease kind of the height of that to try to blend it in. Bring up this tail and trim it off. We're gonna do one more slip stitch. Bring it through. You're gonna pull it through that loop, pull it all the way through and give it a nice good tug to make sure that it's tight. Now I 
threaded a yarn needle with my yarn and you're gonna weave in the ends. So a good way to think about this is that you wanna bury this tail in so it doesn't unravel. You wanna kind of change directions, you want to make sure that it's nice and secure. So you're gonna to wanna to do several rounds of this, kind of switching directions and making sure it's nice and secure. Then you're gonna trim the end off. Don't forget to do that with the other side as well. Now we have completed the boot cuff. If you don't wanna add a button, then you are done right there. But if you wanna add a button, this is how you will do it. You can find these wood buttons at most craft stores. And I'm gonna use some pearl cotton, a really thick, nice uh, thread, and use it to attach my button. So the nice thing about this button, it has those two little eyes there. And I'm gonna insert the thread on both sides. And then I'm gonna pull them through the back of the boot cuff and then I'm gonna tie it in a few knots. I just want this to be nice and secure at the outset so that it will stay in place. So I tie a few knots. This will be on the inside of the boot cuff so you don't have to worry too much about how it looks, but since it's such a fine thread, it'll be nice and buried in there. Couple knots. And then what I'm gonna do is take one end of the thread and thread that needle again and just pull it through that button several times. It will just make sure that the button is much more secure. You'll be able to feel the difference and um, it'll just make sure that it won't fall off. So I threaded it through several more times and then from the back side, I created a few more knots with those two tails. I think maybe two or three will do the trick. Of course, this step is optional, but I think the button adds a really nice touch. Then trim your thread, and you're done. You can really feel the difference. I hope you had a good time following along with this boot cuff tutorial. Again, if your boots are a little bit tight, you can kind of see how this is fitting me, um, and it fits right inside my boot, but you can, of course, adjust this as needed to fit you and to work for you. I hope you had fun. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up this video. Underneath the video, there is a little uh, bit of text called show more. If you click on that, the description box will open up and I will have tons of stuff linked in there. Uh, so be sure to check that out if you have any questions. Of course, leave me a comment if you have any questions. So I'm gonna start a new little thing. I'm gonna do at the end of my videos, a little tip of the day. Um, I just want to add as much to these videos as possible and so today's tip is to be careful with your posture when you are crocheting. We are probably watching a movie or sitting on the couch or doing something like that and we can kind of like tend to like slump down and you're looking down and it can really make all this area real tense and sore. So be sure that you get up and move around a little bit here and there, sit up straight, maybe just reposition yourself and kind of wiggle out your shoulders every once in a while when you are crocheting. I think it will make a big difference, especially when you're making longer projects. This guy is pretty quick, um, so you probably won't have any trouble with this one, but for bigger projects where you're sitting for a few hours at a time, just be sure to be careful uh, with that. And uh, thanks so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.